quickly we're going to cover how to remove your card details as a payment method in an ad account specifically a postpaid ad account or a prepaid ad account so in this video we're going to show you where or how to remove your card details after clearing a payment or making a payment or maybe you're no longer interested in saving your card there so let's jump right straight into the video hi guys in one of our previous videos we mentioned that the best place to discover if you're owing meta or facebook or instagram is visiting the billing and payment page so we're going to provide a link to this video to teach you how to find out if you're owing facebook now apart from that this is the business support zone where you discover all restrictions or any ad account issues so once you come here if you don't find any restriction in the first place you click on the view my account which means you scroll down click on view my account then you allow it to load up after clicking on view my account on the business support home you're going to find the assets that are restricted so in this case this is the first one which is a personal ad account so we'll click on it so once this page opens up we're going to confirm that this personal ad account is disabled so we're going to click on it to find out what exactly went wrong or what does meta wants us to do in this case scenario so you click on the assets Now, in a very rare case, you can see that this one was disabled because they have an outstanding debt that needs to be paid. All right. So you can see in this case, we found this in account quality or in business support. Room, but this does not always happen this way. So which is why you might have to explore the billing and payments page. So we click on pay now. Let's clear this payment. Next, we impute a new card details because the current one is not working. So that's why we're working on this account. So you click on the under the add payment method you click on debit or credit card then you click on next so we're going to add our card details here then you confirm payment after it's been saved okay so you can see the payment has been made that's why we said most payment issues are fixed by using the right card or the card actually works so we click on not now for this okay so we are back to the business home the page where we did our review so let's click on go to payment settings yeah so you could also navigate to this point following our billing and payment guide we're going to attach the link to this video in the description section so since this is the only ad account on this facebook profile definitely it will take us to the payment session so what we want to do here is to remove our card details because we use our card details for our client okay so the first card you're seeing there is the client's own, which you could decide to leave it or you could remove it as well. But the most important thing is for you to make sure that you remove your card details. All right. So you scroll down. Okay. For this page, you're going to see that the payment was successful and you've seen all the failed attempts listed below. If you click on the view all activities, you're going to see a whole lot of that. So let's scroll back to the center now we are going to remove our own card details which is the visa card yeah but if this is your personal account you're working on you might decide to leave it but you could still leave it especially if you're a nigerian so you click on the three dots there you click on remove that's how easy it is okay we're also going to show you how you could remove your cards on your mobile device so you click on remove to remove this card so you remove again click on remove all right so you click on done yeah so sometimes if your client's card has expired you could also remove it at once there's no need of keeping it there but don't forget that your client nobody should run ads on their personal ad account it's very important this is a standard we keep and we protect your business on facebook especially if you're a solo entrepreneur or you run a one-man business so that you're going to avoid complications on meta so let's navigate to meta ads manager so you click on the menu button at the top left corner which is the all tools they click on ads manager the reason why we're doing this is that we want to make sure that all the campaign is being paused okay not after clearing this payment you notice that an active campaign is running you have to clear another debt which means you're going to incur extra charges so once you fix the payment you make sure you come back here ensure that no ads is active all right that's the most important step so that's why we're here so after confirming this you're good to go you can continue creating 
a new business ad account, either prepaid or postpaid, depending on your region. For Nigerians, we strongly recommend create a prepaid ad account. So let's click on the center to clear that notification, the pop-up. So we cancel this as well. Okay. So you can see that the ad account is very active. So next, let's just do something. Let's visit the notification page you're going to see another confirmation that a payment actually took place on this um ad account okay so over there they will click on the notification icon they will click on all notification okay so you can see you are charged 1055 naira something kobo so that's it so we click on the center again so let's go back to business support home. All right, click on account overview. We just want to show you that the restriction has been lifted. So we click on view my accounts so that we're going to view all the assets. So we click on view my accounts. Don't forget, visit the description section to get lots and lots of resources to help you succeed here. Okay, so you can see that the restriction here is no longer available. So congratulations, guys. So let's teach you how you could delete campaigns in a detailed way. We visit Ads Manager on Facebook. So for this particular video, we are going to cover how to delete ad campaigns or pause. And maybe we could cover resume. So you switch to the, let's say, after removing your card, like we said, it's very important you turn off any active ads on that particular ad account, specifically if it's a postpaid ad account you just fixed. So you want to ensure that there's no ad that is running. So you simply, um, usually it will be on your personal ad account, but you know, at Great, we don't use our personal ad account to work. So you will not find a single campaign here so i'm going to switch to another ad account so we're going to take it as a personal ad account because that is the one that has an active campaign so let's assume that we finish clearing the payment and after clearing the payment we notice that the ad account became um, restored so let's say in that case or in this case the ad account was disabled after clearing the payment it was reactivated and the previous campaign that was not post or or the end date has not reached so the campaign continued running so let me switch to the other account that has an active campaign so this is health 01 okay all right so you can see here that we have all these ones are pause all these ones are pause but this one is still active when the ad account is disabled due to failed payment you will not be able to delete or even post the ad so you most likely have to clear the payment first and wait for the ad account to be restored then you quickly come here and you turn off any active campaign you find so take note you would also want to visit this um, duration so you click here and select maximum so that is going to show you all the ad campaigns this ad account has run for a lifetime since it was created till date okay so make sure you scroll down and check out other campaigns or well, usually the active campaigns are usually found at the top like this one so i'm going to turn this off so you can see that this ad campaign has been paused or we can also see all the ad campaigns on this ad account has been paused successfully yeah so you could also delete any ad campaign you want so i'm not going to delete any of this because they're important <laughs> so i'm going to switch to another ad account where we are going to delete so that you also learn how to delete but before we do that, you can also turn on an ad campaign from here. For other persons who are watching this video because they want to learn how to pause or how to resume an ad campaign. So simply click on this button and the ad campaign will resume. 
and you can turn it off again by clicking on the same button okay so all right so we made similar videos about this on how to post or stop ads on facebook app instagram app and also on meta ads manager so usually you'll find it towards the end of um, the videos that covers how to post ads on facebook app mobile app or how to post ads on instagram mobile app so you're going to find it towards the end of the video so we're going to attach that in the description section so visit it to access that particular video so let me show you how to delete an ad campaign i'm going to select a random one from here So we're going to delete this ad campaign. First of all, I'm going to teach you how to delete a single ad campaign. So we could delete this single campaign by clicking on this box, on this particular row. So after checking the box, you find the delete icon that you click on it, or the trash icon that you click on it. Now it's going to delete that single campaign on that row. Now I'm going to teach you how to delete in bulk. So if you want to delete in bulk, so let's say for example, you want to delete three. So you select one, two, three, as many as possible. Then you click on the delete icon, okay? Then in cases whereby, let's say you want to delete all the ad campaigns that have been run on this ad account. So what you basically need to do is to check this box here. So once you check that box, it's going to select all the ad campaigns on this ad account. Then you click on the delete. So because of the number of ads run on this ad campaign is much, it would want you to confirm the number. So you click on 288. If you should click less than that, this button, the button to delete it will not be activated. So let's say I choose 280. It's not going to work until I input the exact number, which is being highlighted here so 288 i click on delete so it's going to do bulk delete or complete delete it's going to delete every ad campaign on this ad account so this is how to delete your ad campaigns on meta ads manager so you could do this after fixing a client's ad account sometimes i do it i just delete all the ad campaigns especially when the ads don't look very good for the ad health so I recommend you delete all the ad campaigns in that personal ad account that you create a prepaid ad account which they can use to run their business ads. Okay, so I hope we've learned something great today. You can always click on X for this. We're also going to show you how to remove your card on the mobile app. So we're just going to focus on ad manager and maybe Instagram. Yeah, but it's something easy. But for those of you who still like us to show you, we're going to show you. So we're going to cover that briefly. So make sure you like this video. If you like the work we're doing, like and subscribe to our channel. How to remove your card after clearing the payment. So we're going to assume that we've cleared the payment. Okay, so maybe it's a Facebook ad account. So let's switch to the particular one where a card has already been inserted. So like I said, we're assuming that there is a card connected to it already okay so make sure you go to billing and payment for example let's say when you open the ad account it's this particular one which needs to be worked on so let's say this ad account was the one we cleared the payment for your client and you want to remove your card or maybe for yourself so what you do is you click on the settings button top left corner okay once the ad account comes up then you click on billing and payments so you can see this card so in order to remove this card you click on the card then you click on remove that's how it works then you click on remove again you've seen we successfully removed this ad account so you click on done that's it now we're going to do this for instagram so we open our instagram app so basically we are going to go and find ad payment so we click on 
your profile picture to go to visit your profile then you click on settings at the top right corner if you're using a business account if you're using a business professional account you're going to find add payment around this area okay but you could also refer to other videos we're going to add it in the description that will teach you the different ways to visit the billing and payment method if you're using a creator account but definitely they must all be a professional account so if it's a creator account you click on creator tools control then you find add payment okay for business account you're going to see business tools and control then you click on add payment next you click on payment method so it's going to open up for this one you can see this card that has already been saved so we're going to remove it so you click on the card then you click on remove they remove click on remove for the second time next click on done this remove the card successfully all right so let's come back to the meta ad manager mobile app so let's pause ads and resume them so we we'll click on this campaign all right so now we're going to resume this one so we click on that button there to resume this particular ad campaign then you can refresh this particular page so you're going to see that it's already active you can refresh here again and you can see the campaign is active next you can turn off this campaign by clicking on the campaign then you click on that same button we clicked on to turn it off so that's it it's very easy so you could refresh it to confirm that it's worked or it has reflected so you can see that the campaign is off now why if you want to delete you simply click on this three dots at the top right corner so we'll click on these three dots then we'll click on delete it's very easy okay so i believe we've covered a lot so you could also refresh and you won't see that particular campaign anymore you can also click on this table just at the right hand side beside the search icon so if you click on it it's going to present all the campaigns so this is another way you could off and on your campaigns so you could turn this one on so see you in our next video bye for now